we're going to look at another type of chemical reaction. This one is called a metal displacement reaction. It's also sometimes just referred to as a displacement reaction or replacement reaction. And if you're really technical, some people might call it an oxidation reduction reaction or redox reaction. But, but specifically, let's focus on the idea of calling this a displacement reaction for today. Um, what's, what typifies this type of reaction is when you have a solid metal introduced to a solution an, uh, of an ionic compound. So in this occasion, my ionic compound is silver nitrate. And when we look at ionic compounds in solution, they are actually separated ions. So I've got a silver ions and nitrate ions right here. And what will happen in this specific scenario, it doesn't always happen, uh, depending on what you, combinations of metals and solutions you've got. But in this occasion, um, the copper is going to transfer electrons to the silver ions. And as it does so, these are actually going to swap places. They're going to displace one another. So what's going on? Well, the copper starts off as copper zero, copper zero charged. They're copper atoms. If it gives away electrons, it's going to become positively charged. It's going to become a positive copper ion. It's, when it does this, it's actually going to drop into solution. It's going to dissolve itself. On the other side, sorry, uh, silver starts off as a silver ion. That means it's a silver plus, plus one charge. If you give an electron, it'll actually change its oxidation state to a zero, so silver zero charge. It'll just become a silver atom, and that's going to form a solid. It's no longer in solution anymore, so it's actually going to hop out of the water. So they're effectively swapping sides. This copper will turn into a solution, and that solution of silver will turn into a solid again. And we are going to get a little bit of uh, this silver coating all up and down this uh, piece of copper when I introduce the two together. And if we're lucky, we'll start to see a little bit of a tree-like structure because metals also form crystals, not just like you know, the, the crystals you might buy at a, at a flea market. Metals also form crystals as well. So if we're really lucky, we might start to see a little bit like a pine tree sort of structure happening right at the surface. And we'll get a close up of that here. So because I have so little volume of this silver nitrate in the bottle, I've chosen to go with a small thin test tube. That way that small volume can uh, rise up pretty high and that gives us some pretty good surface contact for the copper uh, to react with. Uh, I do have uh, on the side here, one of the uh, lab technicians has very kindly uh, made another variant of this experiment where uh, pretty much the same combination of elements, but we're slowing it down in the presence of an agar solution. Agar is kind of like a gelatin sort of material, and that slows down these electrons moving back and forth or, or transferring electrons to each other. And so that actually allows the metals to uh, crystallize more slowly and you get larger, more strong crystals. Unfortunately, this one here, I think I've just damaged it a little bit and uh, it's a bit dark, but if you're lucky, uh, you do get those ones with really bright silver growing in all directions. But let's give this one a go. Here we go. So I'm going to add the silver nitrate. And the copper. So this one here, I've already polished a little bit with sandpaper to try and expose the raw base metal and rinsed it off and patted it dry. So hopefully we get a reaction. I might put a bit of black card right behind so we can get a bit more contrast on the silver. So there we go. So now we're just looking at the bottom of that test tube. We can see that it's quite a bit of silver or something, gray at the bottom. So we are getting some crystals down there. I'm just gonna see if I can use a light to pick up a little bit of that shiny. So from this angle, I think you can see that we've got quite a bit more thickness happening here, quite fuzzy all over, and that's the silver um, solids forming at the surface where the copper once was. We still have an underlay of copper-based metal because it's not going to make its way all the way through, but at least at the surface, we're getting that silver uh, crystals forming. Okay, so this is about as close as I can get. Just changing my little focus plane here so you can see just how three-dimensional these crystals are on the surface. Can move the light here around. Now I don't really have a macro lens, but this is as close as I can possibly get on the focus. And you can start to see that 
crystal structure growing off that surface, very much like snowflakes in the trees. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just found one more clip that I had in my archives of a little microscope of the exact same reactions, but with a bit of copper wire instead.